Good morning. Welcome to Skate Award YouTube channel. Today we have one video how to go with script upon the change on PLC signal. For example, when something goes from 0 to 1, I want to trigger, for example, calculator inside our WinCC V7. Okay, let's go. We have TIA portal and we have S7 PLC SIM advanced. I need to run this PLC SIM advanced. So we have the simulation of our S7 1500. Okay, I start this and my trial on S7 advanced is running. I have IP 192.168.0.250 and now I will download my simple PLC program. This PLC program is just the OB1 and 2DB but this DB is for my advanced V7 course for WinCC. This course is live but it's on VIP edition right now. Okay, I have M30 and M40. One tag is triggering output and now we go to WinCC V7 so we trigger something in our SCADA system. Okay, so now I need to find my script I want to trigger and I need to prepare some data for TIA portal. M30 and M40 data type is binary and this binary is here and address is M30 and M4.0. We have 1, the value is 1 and after we trigger the TIA PLC we should have 0 in our SCADA. Ok, so our simulation is working, we can go through this example. Now we need to go back to our run script. This script run calculator.bet and this one I showed in YouTube channel before. So you can take this script and run this again with our action script. I copy this script and I will paste into my action script. After I click run bat file, my calculator is working. So now I go to Visual Basic Script edi Editor and I will create one action script. In Actions tab I create the new action and I will just paste our script. This is just Visual Basic so we can use the same what we had on our button. And on M4.0 I will make the trigger. So we go to trigger, I put the tag and tag name will be M40 and I want to update data every 2 seconds. Of course we can make the name of this script. Let's say it will be run calc on trigger. Ok, we don't want to have this calculator running every 2 seconds, but we want to have this only when our trigger is, for example, 1. So we go from 0 to 1. We need to add additional if into our script. 
so we read data from m for zero and if this data is one we will trigger this and if our trigger is zero we don't take any actions okay i need to delete one we don't have any errors so we can run our WinCC runtime and check how this function is running. We have zero. And now when I modify from zero to one, we should have also the calculator running. Okay, you see our calculator is running. So we did the trigger for our application. So every time the signals go from zero to one, we can trigger any bot in our application. So we can make the calculator, we can run Excel files, we can run, for example, the additional files like OPC or something. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and see you on Friday. Bye.